Goldilocks Productions presents the Wings of Grace Inside Show. Can connect with your loved ones through the show host, Reb Debbie Dean Spear. This show is proudly sponsored by Jimmy Mack, renowned medical intuitive and spiritual life coach. Visit www.jimmymackhealing.com. Well, good afternoon and welcome to Wings of Grace Insight. Can't believe it's Thursday already. I was trying to figure out what day it was yesterday. And it's been a very fast-paced time here. And uh, having liquid sunshine in our forecast for Florida. And I've been sending a lot of rain out to Arizona and to Australia because I'm not sure how their forests are doing either. Um, My friends live there and they've had some forest fires there in Arizona. So if everybody wants to do a rain dance and send some rain their way, I'm sure they would appreciate it. Astrology reading for today. Let me share with you. The Mercury retrograde ends on Sunday, July 12th. Yay! But Before Mercury goes direct, it gets involved in a square with Mars early on Wednesday, July 8th. And when Mars' lack of impulse, control, and aggressive energy is at its strongest, a Mercury-Mars square is no friend to communications, messages, or retail market because a short fuse can make you jump to the wrong conclusion and say the wrong thing. This is a time to try to avoid disagreements, arguments, and road rage. Relief is on tap for Sunday, July 12th, when the Mercury retrograde comes to an end and a Sun-Neptune trine smooths the way forward. Neptune softens, Mars energizes, and Saturn consolidates. Jupiter amplifies. Mercury's change of direction, which means that communications will be easier. Contacts will be accepted without incident. And electronics will be purchased without fear of buyer's remorse. And projects can be put back on the front burner. Mercury in forward motion also signals the end of travel problems, general snafus and technical difficulties. The Sun-Neptune trine on Sunday increases sensitivity, sympathy, and compassion. And because willpower is easily swayed by Neptune's planner charisma and creative imagination, you might find yourself in an unimaginably amazing situation in love, work or play and if you're inclined to reach out and help those less fortunate this is a good time to write a check to your favorite charity oh that's nice so that would be wings of grace spiritual center wouldn't it and how wonderful we always love to hear that mercury is going direct don't we that's our favorite day of the year i think but I'm really grateful, so grateful for this show. I want to thank Jimmy Mack, my sponsor, and Tiffany Whitesage Woman. She makes all the magic happen. And anybody that would like to get um, healing or a private session or reading, my number is 727-433-3896. Or you can go to Wings of Grace Spiritual Center Church on Facebook or spiritualdeb at gmail.com. Well, let's get our reading started. Our first caller today is area code 818. Hello, yeah, 818. 818. 738 4588. Wonderful. And what is your name? Um, Benko, B E N K O. Okay, thank you. Hello? Hi, this is Reverend Debbie. How are you today? Oh, my gosh. How are you? (laughs) I'm doing a double phone call. (laughs) I just had a feeling you might be. (laughs) Oh, thank you so much. Thank you for waiting. I've been multitasking all morning. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, my God. 
<laughs> well, I've got a couple. Ca- I've got three cats now. I rescued um, Tux, a, a male wandering tuxedo cat. And nice. He's, well, yes, I love him dearly. He's about six years old. I got him fixed and shots, and he had mange. The poor guy didn't have Aww. a home. He was just roaming around. And um, I have two female cats, Siamese, but uh, they're older. They're close to 15 years old. Oh, they're not probably. adjusting to him at all. No. And he's peeing outside the box. Now, that yep. is the worst. That's what's going on. Now, he's used to being outdoors, roaming around. I had another reading done by somebody that I actually know, and she said, yeah, family abandoned him for whatever yep. reason. He's been all Ping. over the territory. <laughs> but he seems very content and happy here, and I he love is. him dearly, but he can't yep. keep peeing all over my house. Well, so you have to have a talk with him. I've been it's talking like, to him, but he's a kid. It's like talking to my six-year-old grandson yeah. in one ear and out the other. So what can I do to shift his energy? Well, let me tell you, the first thing you ever do before you bring another pet home is you ask your other pet. You explain yeah. to them, we're going to have another addition to our family because this poor kid has been a transit outside. <laughs> and and I laugh because one of my dear friends is a pet psychic, you know, and I learned so much from her. Uh-huh. And um, and she always helped me find my dog that would run away because he loved to be with people. And, yeah. um, you know, I feel that the tuxedo cat is happier being outside. He does love you, but he's going to always pee outside the box. Oh, and that's why the other owners that had him let him go outside. That was originally my gut feeling. I had a feeling yep. that, you know, that something might yeah. have happened. And he is. He's such a love. I have a cat that was my best friend's cat, and she passed away. Mm-hmm. That cat does not want to be in the house. I live in a community where we're not supposed to let them out. So yeah. when I moved here, I rehomed him. And within two weeks, he found his way back to where I'm living, which was a long distance. And so I said, okay, if you want to stay here, but he's an outside cat. He doesn't want to come in the house. You know, when the weather gets real bad, he doesn't care. He wants to be outside in the weather. And the people that complained that I let him run, now they're petting him and he's hanging out with them. And I think they're feeding him along with eating at my house because he's getting fatter, you know. And um, what did you well, name your tuxedo cat? Tux. But the other, tux. the oh, other, yeah, cute. yeah. Um, the other problem now that I have is because he scratched me really bad. I had to keep him confined in a room in a cage because of mange for six weeks. Yeah. And then yeah. I put him in my room in the cage for a while to get my other cats and him to adapt to each other. He right. He's the player. He wants to pounce and play. They won't. Now, and they're he scratched like, me, yeah, really bad, and it hit a nerve in my right hand, and I'm right-handed. Oh. So I took him uh, to Northern California where they declaw him, and I yep. got him declawed. And now I've got the issue, then if I let him out, now he, I did let him out one time. He comes around in the middle of the night, like 3, 4, 5 in the morning, looking yeah. to come in, but, you know, and climbs the fence and everything. But I don't know what to do now, because now yeah. he's declawed. And I feel bad. He can still protect himself, but he's a sweet, innocent cat. I don't think he's ever he been is. in a cat fight. Well, so, I think that you could rehome him, but he has to be a one and only cat. Okay. 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 And okay. he'll function better being a one and only cat than being with other pets. Okay. Because I rehome cats all the time. I work for a feral cat rescue where I go and feed cats at different places. Yeah. yeah. And uh, well, where do and I when begin? I find, <laughs> yeah. When I find cats with kittens, they come to my house and live, and okay. I get them used to being an inside cat, and I get them rehomed. 
you know. Well, yeah, I live in Los Angeles, so uh, here there's an overpopulation. And, yeah, you know, there is in COVID, Florida, too. Yeah. Yep. Uh, is there any rescues here in L.A. that I could, you know, turn him over to to rehome him if I have? Um, I'm sure there is. And, um, you know, here we have that next door online. Oh, yeah. Where they I have that, They'll too. talk about what's going on. And you yeah. can post him on there. And, okay. And I have to tell you, within one month, I homed 11 cats and kittens. Oh, really? Okay. And I usually do not rehome animals online, yeah. you know, because you never know about people if they're really adopting them for the right reason. Exactly. You know? I know. That's the hard part. You really don't know what's going to yeah. happen. Yeah, because I, I usually got rehome my church people. Yeah, yep. yeah, I don't have a church that I go to at this time. And Well, yeah. that's okay. Well, I'm I'm telling you that we're telling the universe, to send the perfect person your way that okay. is going to love God. I'm going to I'm going to die heart. inside giving them up. <laughs> I know, I know. You know, I know. I, I love him because he's so active, and yeah. the others two aren't anymore. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but see, in a, in a couple years, those two yeah. cats will go on their way, and another cat will get sent your way, where you'll have that young kitten playful. Right, you know, all over again. They don't have to yeah. be baby kittens, but um, yeah, I okay. see you with different colored cats, not Siamese. Uh huh. The Siamese cats can be more particular. Yeah, these two are very loving, and yeah. everybody that comes into my home is amazed how loving they are. Yeah, they're they're not the yeah. they're a mixture. That's typical. Why. Yeah, they're well, not how typical. Nice. That's what I have too. I have yeah. them. Yeah, that's why I'm really shocked that Muffin didn't... I had a brother, well, I had a calico and put her to sleep, and then I had their brother. And when I saw Mick, uh, when I saw Tux, well, I call him Tux, I saw Mickey yeah. in him, the playfulness. Yeah. And that's why I thought Muffin, you know, the sister, would play with him. Yeah. But no, the age difference She doesn't want to be a cougar. <laughs> yeah, not anymore, not anymore, yeah. She says, I'm not his cougar. <laughs> yeah, okay. So, thank you. you know, I appreciate You're welcome, your and, and I'm telling you, you're you're really doing a wonderful thing. It's really hard letting go of pets. There's two at my house right now Yeah. That I was to rehome, but then you fall in love with them, you know. Either that but, or just um, let them outside and let them wander. Yeah, and put food outside your door, and he'll stick around. Yeah, he does, but other cats do too, and then I don't want to attract I more know. cats. Yeah, I know. I feed possums. I'm probably feeding coyotes, and I'm feeding my cats yeah. outside. Yeah, all of them. Yeah, we especially get if you put it out here. at night. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So, the best thing and is the birds to try to and the coon. Him. Yeah. Yeah. Come one, come all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much. You're welcome. You're welcome. And God bless you. I know you're making the right decision. I know okay. you will. Okay, dear? Okay. Thank you so All much. Right. Anytime. Now. Have a blessed okay. day. You too. Bless you. Thank you. He does. Okay, and our next caller is area code 714. Hello, area code 714. Hi, Reverend Debbie. How are you? Wonderful, thank you. How are you? It's it's Diana from California. I knew that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I wanted to tell you thank you because um, you did tell me I was going to mani- uh, I was going to manifest um, uh, a place pretty soon, and um, yep. officially. I have not signed any contract, but the universe gave me a new place to live. It's like I was in my friend's um, business, and I was there, and he says, do you know anybody that needs a room? And I said, yes. And where is it? And, you know, how much is it? And and let's see. And and this is the address. And um, it was just like, 
It was a win-win. It was a win-win situation. Yay! I love when that happens. And you 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 told me by July. You said the middle of July, but it's the beginning of July. And I know that I don't really care about the time. I just got that it happened. (laughs) Oh, that is so wonderful! I'm so happy for you. I'm so happy for you. You you were right. You were right. You were right. Not me. The angels were right. Of course, not me. Yes. Not me. Well, sometimes, I, I know that sometimes when people ask questions and they have problems, they you know they yeah. want things right away and stuff. And the hardest thing to do is patience but, and keeping True. your faith and keeping the faith. So I wanted to share that, and so other people could, could know that just keep the faith and that know that when they get a message, it's not it's not a fast as you would like, but it is coming. Yes, it is. And so now are you able to let yourself get some rest and catch up some energy? Well, I, so yes. Let go I, of your emotions I have, to not be so critical of yourself? I have slipped in for the last um, two days. I've slipped in, so good. It's, it's very good, yes. Good. It'll help you to recollect your energy. Mm-hmm. For the big move day when you move in your plane, you know. No, I did. I actually did. I, um, I yeah, because um, they don't. The guy didn't want to leave the place alone, so um, he's he 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 wanted a roommate, and, and he's hardly here. Nice, nice. So I was just surprised when he could say I could move right away. I was like, okay. Don't tell you me know why, what? Here, huh? In the, here, no, the, the the door open. There it is. Yep. Do it. Yep. And now you're set free to move ahead in your life. That is yes. so wonderful. That is so wonderful. I'm so happy for you. Thank you so much. So Do you get it from the angels and any other message? Just. You know, I feel like this is a time of rebirth for you, mm-hmm. and and you're going to see with moving ahead like this, it's going to help you to release old wounds and feelings. You know, I've seen a lot of people as we're going through all this isolation and stuff, releasing a lot of heavy stuff, even from past lives. And there's a lot of rebirthing and early childhood stuff people have been going through, and it's going to help you to sort out your spiritual rebirthing so that you can see your true self bring through to the front of the room the joy and the happiness and the playfulness in your life so that you can be true blue to you because you have a, um, forgot the word, you tend to put other people first and spirit is yes. saying it's me first. Yes, first. yes, I do. Yep. So so it's all about you, and, and I'm so happy for you, and I hope that you do take this time to allow your light to shine even brighter, if that's at all possible. So God bless you. God bless God you, bless. too. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. Have a wonderful weekend. You, too. Thanks. Our next caller is 818. 818. Carolyn. Hi. Hi. Hello. Good. Thank you. Uh, Thank you for taking my call. Certainly. And yes, and I just want to know what uh, my angels and guys have to say to me. Are you feeling depressed because you're not celebrating Fourth of July? No, I don't even care about Fourth of July. Um, I don't know. I've been sleeping a lot. I've been sleeping a lot, like uh, oh, okay. uh, uh, hours, you know, my, all day. Good. Good. Well, for like you three or four days, you know. Yeah. It does this. It, but I think it. it's the energies, too, from the Very earth, true. whatever's going on. Yeah. I don't know Very what true. was wrong with me, but 
And I know I need rest, so I, I, I feel rested today. Good. Good. I feel like you're going through a big energy shift. Oh, okay. And there's an ant here in spirit. Yes. And she says she's getting rid of all the blocks, all the walls. Oh, okay. And she says there's going to be unexpected company knocking on your door. She says, but there's mm-hmm. a new path for you to make new decisions for yourself. And she said, you have to put you first. And I feel there's a lot of wonderful surprises that are coming your way. And they're saying, leave the past in the past. Don't hold on to it. Cut the cords, let it go. Um, I feel that the angels are working with you so that your energy can expand and you can grow to move forward in a new direction. Okay. Oh, okay. That's and, good. Um, it's very good. And Archangel Michael is here. Oh, hi. Nice. And Archangel Gabriel are here. And they're oh. saying it's okay to withdraw. It's okay to go within and let go of everything else. And you're okay. going to see how you're going through rebirthing too. You're going to see how they're opening new doorways for you for restoration. And um, I see you standing in a lavender field of flowers. How beautiful. And I just feel they're uplifting your mind mind and body so they can ease feelings of stress and um, agitation. You know, those earthly distractions that get us off our path. I feel this is a time of rejuvenation for your soul. And you can truly feel radiant with the inner peace and harmony that Spirit's giving you because you're looking at everything differently in a new light. Yeah, okay. Spirit's showing you the way. And I want to tell you, just go forward. Just go forward and follow that path. And you're going to be glad that you did. Okay? Yes, thank you. You're very welcome. Have a wonderful weekend. You too. Thanks. God bless you. Bye bye. Bye. Our next caller is area code three one four. Three one four. Georgia. Hello, how are you today? Good, Deb. How are you? Great, thank you. Awesome. I just basically here for support for you. Um Thank you. There's a message. Well, if not, that's okay, too. I just wanted to wish you a happy, happy um, 4th of July. Oh, wonderful. Thank you. Yeah, I'm going to be lazy and do nothing That's the awesome. 4th of July. They're not doing oh, fireworks this year with the virus, so that's okay. I never really go and watch it anymore. I just hear that boom, boom, boom that scares the dog. Right. But, um, Spirit says um, you can have your heart's desire, and um, they're showing me a snake around you again, and and they're opening a new doorway for you, and they said it's time for you to trust Spirit and just blindly walk through the door, see what they have in store for you. You're a very positive thinker, and I feel like you're going through a lot of major changes right now. And Spirit's putting everything together, having to do with work. And I just see victory in your home of what you're wanting to manifest for yourself. And you keep talking and talking and talking about stuff. And Spirit is saying, quit talking about it, get doing it. You have wonderful ideas, but it's a time of action. And I feel as you start to move forward, it's going to get easier and easier for you. And you're like, why didn't I do this a long time ago? <laughs> oh, of course. Of course. <laughs> you know? And and I truly do believe the angels are pushing you forward for your own evolution and for you mm-hmm. to align with your physical self and your soul purpose for your higher good. And I feel that this is a really strong foundation that's going to rock out the energy for your entire being because it's time to evolve. And you're going to see that Mother Earth has your roots 
grow deep down into the ground like a tree. Mm -hmm. And I feel wherever you land, Mother Earth is going to help you to adapt. You're going to see beauty in the process of how everything is being put together for you. And Spirit says, what are you slowing up for? Get out of your head. Just move forward and trust the process. And they're going to guide you. They're going to guide you. Awesome. They want That's you pretty to much trust. my meditation every day. <laughs> trust the flow. Trust the flow is what I'm hearing Archangel Raphael say. Cool. And Archangel Raphael is the angel of love. Yes. Yeah. He's saying trust the flow. Trust lot. the flow. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so God bless you. God bless you, I'm so excited for you. Thank you. Me Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, well, have a fabulous weekend. You too, honey. I'll be hanging out, being lazy with the dog, just like you. (laughs) Cool. Thank you. Uh Uh-huh, thank you. Love you. Bye. Thanks. Our next caller is area code 973. Hello, nice Hello Reverend Debbie. It's Hi. Isabel from New Jersey. How are you? Good, thank you. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. Wonderful. Wonderful. So I oh. see you with ruby red slippers on. Oh. Kind of like the <laughs> Wizard of Oz. Clipping little heels together to get where you want to go. Are you feeling stuck? Yes. Okay. Well, that's not true. But I, I can feel it. It's like you go to click your shoes and it's like feeling frozen, you know. Spirit says you're being pulled in two different directions. And this is a time of healing for you. And you're concentrating too much on our, all the earthly nonsense. It doesn't matter. Okay, and Spirit is showing legal papers, and I feel that your emotional wish is what you're wanting deep, deep down. The angels are already working on it, but you don't see it to be true. And people are going to come and go in your life. You know, it's part of our life lessons. And um, Spirit wants you to know that there's a golden light put around the legal papers that are in your life and that the angels are taking care of it. It's not what you have to do to make things happen. And I would just look at it as, oh, I'm on vacation and let this stuff go so you could move forward with grace and ease. Okay? And Spirit says, the moment you do that, everything will begin to make much more sense to you. And um, they said, we can turn your ruby red slippers into glass slippers so that you have unlimited potential. And I feel by the end of the year, you're going to make decisions of where you want to go from here. And Spirit will begin to help you to open new doorways. And I just feel there's the very blessed, there's the very best bliss in the world that's being brought to you and being served up on a platter. And Spirit says you're long overdue. You're long overdue. And they want you to continue to speak from your heart as Spirit is opening these doorways for you to um, move forward with grace and ease. And I just see that there's this spark in your life that's opening up and it's going to encourage you to let go of the inhibitions because there's part of you that's finding it hard to cut loose and they want you to be passionate and sing your song at the top of your lungs without judgment and you know every day is a gift worth celebrating and spirit wants to remind you to show up and embrace the potential of your own life no excuses. We can't blame it on anybody else because I've got to do this for this one and this for that one. Spirit says, sing. Sing your song. 
so God bless you, Isabel. And there's great oh. things yet to come for you, and you very much deserve them. You're long Thank overdue. you so much. Thank you so much, You're Reverend welcome. Debbie. Blessings to everyone. Thank you. Have a great weekend. You too. Thanks. Our next caller is 727. 727. Hello, 727. Oh. Hey, um, I was just listening in, but uh, does Spirit have a message today? I didn't think I didn't they get do. it. They do. Ha, 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 ha. That's what you get for thinking. <laughs> yeah, I bet you they are laughing. <laughs> they are. <laughs> they are. Well, I see you very happy and lighthearted, and Spirit is telling me that you have family unity. And... Your wishes are being granted, and Spirit says, take this time to take authority and do what is for your highest and best, because they're opening a new door for you, and I feel there's a lot of wonderful changes having to do with your son, little Mr. Leo, um, Patrick, yeah. and Spirit says, you're in much need of fun, you're in much need of meditation, and they said probably in that order. And they want you to know your emotional wishes deep down are being heard and addressed. And it's time now to fly with your angel wings and accept the wishes that are granted. And um, I see you very happy and lighthearted. And you're like, oh, we're, you're going to see like the glimpse of the light. Like we finally arrived. We're finally, everything's coming together. And oh. you'll quit second guessing yourself. Spirit is saying to nurture your dreams that a lot of answers are being given to you through your dreams. Maybe you want to keep a notebook and a pen by your bed so when you wake up you can write them down as you remember them. Oh, I used to do that, but I haven't done that in a long time. So, no. Well, do it again. Get back I will. to it. <laughs> Get back to it, you know. And uh, you're going to see the gift of integrity is coming into your life because you're finding your rhythm and balance in your life. And I feel that you're dancing between the physical realm and the spiritual world. And everything is opening and expanding your consciousness so that you can embrace all that is, the light and the dark, the body and the spirit. And you're going to see all the multidimensional consciousness in your everyday practical life being opened up and expanded. So God bless you. God bless, God bless you. you thank, deserve it. Thank you. And You're so welcome. do you. Thanks. <laughs> I'll Thanks. take it. <laughs> thank you. Bye. Bye. Our next caller is Erica 714. 714, hello. Hello, Reverend Debbie. Hi. It's a bit gloomy here, but it's a oh, good day for no. banana fish. <laughs> oh wow. Gloomy in California <laughs> that's unheard of. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know it's the June bloom. Oh wow. That I didn't does know happen. that ever happened. Oh wow. yeah. Yeah, my husband says we're in the land of no weather, but <laughs> Oh wow. Yeah, because it's constant. In other words, it's oh. not you know, there's nothing really different about California. The sun is always there, but, you know, it's been changing over the years. Yeah. Like everywhere else. Yeah, all the earth changes. Wow. Yes, exactly. And if I had a, of course, I could ask a lot of different questions, but I want, I'm trying to find the right question. <laughs> so okay. it's what? What is the universe designing for me? Well, it's not their job. It's your job to decide. Okay. And I okay. understand that. Mm -hmm. And I see you really busy doing five different things at once. And they're yeah. showing all these strings hanging all around you. And they're symbolic of tying up loose ends to projects. So whatever you okay. start, make sure you finish it. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. here it says, from darkness, everything goes to light, and I feel you have a lot of decisions to make, 
and they're showing a short trip um, where you're going to go on a little getaway somewhere locally, and when you come back, you feel like all the cobwebs are cleared out of your head, and you'll start making decisions, putting things in order. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of expansion and abundance around you, but I feel that you're still healing and there's a lot of restrictions put on yourself. So spirit might bring you an opportunity and you go, no way, I could never do that because you don't see your perception of being able to handle it, even though you can. Mm -hmm. And I feel in the next two months, there's going to be an increase in money around you. I don't know where it's coming from, if it's a job or winning money or what. Maybe it's another stimulus check. Who knows? But well, that would be nice. saying, <laughs> everything is being put together like steps on a staircase. One by one, you're getting to where you need to be. And I feel that that's the most important. That's the most important. And they're mm-hmm. saying this is a time for connection um, with Mother Earth, with your inner guides, your teachers. And when you're feeling exhausted and weary and disconnected from the earthly pursuits, they're wanting to restore your soul connection to your physical body so that you mm-hmm. can be infused with your daily life and guidance and intuition directly from the divine source. So that you can fully participate in life and inhibit mm-hmm. and explore your body and walk the path that your soul intends to. And sometimes, mm-hmm. you know, this is true. We don't see all the gifts that are being brought to us. We don't see that we truly deserve this yet, you know. <laughs> but it's ours for the taking. That's what Spirit is saying. It's ours for the taking. And... I feel that you need to open up to receive, and you're going to see, August, many wonderful things coming your way as it all comes to full circle. And by then, you should be out of this gloomy June weather you're having. Right. And see changes. So, God okay. bless you. Well, God thank you. you. And, yes, and I'm going to be in an art show uh, oh, how nice. coming up in July. and. Um, I, I'm just kind of wondering if this might be opening up also to a new direction. I know I have a lot of things to um, untie or yeah. tie up. <laughs> Let's yep. put this because I do. I'm. Uh, I guess I would call myself a creative person. So there's a lot. I've got my fingers in a lot of things and and trying to find the, the commonality of it all, you know, to bring it to center. So maybe I don't need to do that that much. Maybe. But I love yeah. art. I love creative things. So um, I'm wondering if this could be um, this, this could be an opportunity as well for me uh, that the universe is showing me. It can be. It can be, uh-huh. but I feel that there's another opportunity that you'll be doing with your art where you're going to meet, you're connecting to the right people that are going to mm-hmm. take you in another direction, and it'll be really good for you. Oh, very good. Yeah, yeah. All right. So just keep mo- keep moving forward with it. I was going to ask mm-hmm. you if you do writing. Do you do journaling? I'm an author. Okay. Yes, and I do I do right. journal every once in a while and I teach, you know, I teach the importance of that and setting your goals because you need to set goals if you really want change in your life. You need to know what you want. And and yeah. many of us, including me, you know, we're, you trying to build on that and to find out what your purpose is on this earth. So there's a lot of people there and, you know, some reach that early and some reach it, you know, when they're seniors. So there really is no time except we're the ones that are orchestrating that. But um, so um, 
Yes. So I think a lot of people would really be much happier if they would just uh, follow through with what their heart leads them to do. And then they'll be able to be directed to their purpose. Very true. That's very true. So that's that's the path I'm on. Oh, good. And I'm trying not to leave anything behind. So that's why... (laughs) That's why there are, you know, I do have uh, an issue of letting go of things, which that is something that I'm continuing to learn. I oh, need to let okay. go of some things, some new things open up. So that is my, uh, you know, that's that's what I'm learning and and teaching, and my students teach me also. So it's a that's win-win wonderful. situation. Mm-hmm. Well, it's great when we learn from each other. Mm-hmm. So God bless you. How wonderful. I'm Thank excited you. for you. Thank so. you. All right. Well, have a blessed weekend. Okay. You have the same. You Thank have you. the same. Many blessings. Thanks. Bye-bye Thank for you. now. Bye. Mm-hmm. Our yeah. next caller is area code 562. 562. Uh-huh. Hi, Reverend Debbie. How are you? This oh, is Patty. Hi, Patty. How are you? Oh, um, all right. Hanging in there. How about you? Wonderful. Th- thanks for taking my call. Very good day. Oh, I'm glad you're doing wonderful. I you're am. doing amazing, uh, incredible powerhouse work for so many of us. So thank you for being here oh, for us. Sure. Certainly. I I um I want to apologize. I um I was on your call for um on Jimmy Mac's show and I was I was planning on not staying on because I was so tired and actually I was think I was falling asleep when when <laughs> when Jimmy picked up my line I was just so out of it. <laughs> but <laughs> we like, didn't even know. Yeah, but I guess we I was didn't supposed even to get you were sleepwalking. <laughs> exactly. And uh but I guess I was supposed to get that message you gave me um about me having to let something go or else I would have to carry it with me in the future, something to that effect. Yeah. I I I'm not, you know, I don't remember your exact quotes, but um I was very perplexed because I couldn't figure out what it was and then uh, lo and behold, Jimmy has a download um, the following day, or I see it the next day, for yep. um, leaving things uh, in the past. And um, I was wondering if that took care of it. If I need to even, if, if I need to even know what it is that I need to let go, is it from, or if you can help me figure out what it is so I can try and do more work on it, or or was I able to let it go? Do you, is it something? No, you can... I feel that it had to do with past lives not past in this life. I feel that That's what I was wondering. I wasn't that's life. yeah, that didn't oh, from a past something I had to let go of from a past yeah. life. See, that yeah. didn't come up until later after I did like, oh my gosh, I wonder if this was from a past life and I don't even know or have to know what it is if it's yeah. from a past but, life it might be hard to Oh wow, so so uh Jimmy's uh, this, uh download this is allowing you to have your new beginnings in your life. You know, this is your destiny. It's like you're standing at the crossroads and you're able to let go and move forward in your life so that things can balance out for you. And you're gonna see within the next ten days a lot of wonderful things falling into place for you and then you'll quit questioning everything. We don't always have mm-hmm. to know why. We just have to say thank you, God, for taking that old stuff away that I no longer need. It's like having a garage sale or donating it to Goodwill or something. You know? <laughs> just letting it, let it go, um, let it go. <laughs> oh, well, thank you so much, and you to you both and Jimmy and Max for your um, incredible sure. assistance. I mean, really magical miracle assistance that I needed um, to get sure. through and. And really, I was I was planning. That's the only reason I I was wasn't gonna hang on to to you to the call on Tuesdays because I was just so exhausted and I knew that I yeah. wasn't I wasn't all there, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, you did pretty good for not being there. 
<laughs> oh, well, I can't thank you enough, Reverend Debbie. God bless you so oh, much. You're so welcome. God bless you, and I'm so happy for you to be able to move forward with grace and ease in your life. That's wonderful. Oh. That's wonderful. Well, have a oh. fabulous weekend, Miss Patty. You okay? Thank you so much. Mahalo. Muchas gracias. Bless you, Reverend Debbie, and you you. too. Have a fabulous weekend. Uh, Taking it easy with a peaceful peaceful Fourth of July with not so many booms. (laughs) Yeah, for sure. All right. Thank you. (laughs) Thank you. Bye. Bye. Our next caller is area code 516. Hello, area code 516. Hi, Reverend Debbie. It's Kavita. Hi, Kavita. How are you? I'm okay. I'm doing well. How are you doing? Good. Pretty good, thank you. So I'm doing good. <laughs> yeah. Today. Um, my, my close friend's mother, her name is Ruby, she passed on. Um, can you pick up a message from her? Uh, let's see. Um, you said Ruby? Ruby, yeah. Okay. You know, she's just showing me family reunion where she was met by her parents when she crossed Mm -hmm. over. And, Mm -hmm. uh, she said she never even imagined it could be this wonderful to be in a body that has no pain, no suffering. No craziness. She said it's the most freeing thing she's ever had in her whole life. Wow. And she wants, she says, I have no attachments to anything on earth, physical things. She said it's time to move forward and um, live our very best lives. And she said, I'm going to be studying very hard in angel school so that I can come and communicate. Because she said, I'm not that far evolved as I thought I was. She thought she was more evolved until she got over there. She's saying, oh, there's a lot more I have to learn than I thought. Oh, <laughs> Too funny. Wow. But um, she said, it's, it's the most wonderful thing in the world to gift yourself to be on the other side. And she said, don't feel bad for me. She said, there's no suffering. There's no hardships like we see on the earth plane. And when you're going through that process, she said, it's like God lifts you up out of it and you're really not going through all that. So um, how nice. How nice is that? And she's very grateful that you're in her daughter's life. And she says there's new doors that are opening up for her daughter. And um, she said her daughter doesn't see all the things that are meant for her. But she said the angels are picking her up to place her in the right place so she doesn't miss out on these things that are coming her way. Because she might not see that this is mine. I deserve this. You know what I mean? Okay. Uh Uh-huh. But um, she said, thank you for being in her life. And she sends a lot of love. How nice. nice. Send it back, please. Wonderful. Is there anything, um, any information you can give me? I know you're doing healing, um, tinnitus and hearing. Um, I know hopefully it will be gone soon, but anything that the uh, messages from the angels about um, healing? No, they haven't. And, you know, what's Mm -hmm. funny is this morning... Um, I went into a deep trance in there, but I don't, Mm -hmm. when I came back, I wasn't aware of anything. Sometimes when I go into deep trance, I don't know what's being said to me, but I know somebody's talking to me and they just send the information wherever it's supposed to be, you know, and, um, I'll make sure I write it to you when I, when I remember, whenever they give me anything, I send it to you, you know, thank you but yeah. they're they're doing deep work, and I don't know what it is. Yeah, you know they it's haven't filled my blank. Condition. 
I know. Yeah, it's, it's a very crazy. complicated condition. I, I, you know, See, I feel I, it, I, it's connected to past life with you. Yeah. I feel yeah. that it's all past life. Mm-hmm. And there's something there that has you stuck where you're not moving beyond it. Mm. Yeah. But it'll be cleared. It'll be cleared. Yeah. Oh. I will be so happy that <laughs> we'll be celebrating for sure. For sure. For sure. Yeah. Well, God bless you, Kavita. I'm so Thank happy you so for much. you. Great talking yep. to you. And uh, Good talking to time. you. Okay. 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 Happy Fourth of July. Have, thank you. You too. Thank you. Our next caller is area code six one seven. Six one seven. Hello. How are you today? Hi. This is my first time on this call. So. Oh, welcome. Excited. Thank you. I, I'm I so was glad on the to pick on you. <laughs> yeah. What is your I name? Am too. <laughs> my name is Joy. Oh, Joy. Wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful. Um, thank you. Thank you for having me. I was wondering if there's a message from Spirit for me. Sure. You know, there's a lot of loved ones here with you, and okay. um, there's a grandmother that feels shortchanged, like her life. She had all these ideas of what she wanted to do with you, but she crossed uh-huh. over before she could complete her list. It's her list, you know, not your list. And uh-huh. um, But she's really proud of how far you've come in your life. Oh, that's nice I feel like my breath is taken away. Excuse me. Okay. Maybe she, she had a heart issue. Yeah, she did. Because I feel like it's it's really hard to breathe. That's how she's letting me know it's her. And yeah. um, she says there's legal contracts around you. Mm. And they're helping you from the world of spirit to put everything together for you. And I feel that it'll be taken care of. And there's a lot of healing that's taking place with you. And... Um, <laughs> There's a good friend that's always there through thick and thin with you, no matter what. And Spirit says your emotional wishes deep, deep down are going to be coming true. And she says you're in much need of fun. And she wants to see you be ritual about meditation, whether it's morning or night, whether you're a sun person or a moon child, um, that they know within an hour this is our meditation time so your guides can work with you. Mm-hmm. Cause you used to, they're showing me a book, blowing off the dust. Maybe you used to channel in books, write things down, and then you stop. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. they want you to get back to basics, is what they're telling me. Get back to basics, and it's going to be the greatest gift you give yourself. Okay. okay? Yeah. And um, Barrett says it's. Time for you to reconnect and allow spirit to guide you. And I feel this is a transmutation that you're going through. Mm-hmm. And um, they want to remind you to reclaim your power through the transmuting of emotions and releasing what you no longer need. You not only have the ability to overcome the perceived obstacles in front of you, you can extinguish them. And by realizing that you can move through anything, you'll see there's no more roadblocks there in your life. It's that easy. It's that easy. And it's okay if you are withdrawing. You know, all of us are supposed to be right now. But Spirit wants you to be tolerant and seek the enlightenment within and you're going to see how they're working in your life to bring everything full circle before it's all said and done. So God bless you, Joy. I'm so excited for you. As oh, my God. Spirit's putting everything together for you. And uh, you. know that you're not alone. You're not alone at all. God bless you. God you're bless amazing. You. Thank, you. thank you so much. Thank that you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Have a blessed weekend, dear. And you too. God bless you. Thanks.
Well, thank you all so much for joining us today. How wonderful. And I want to thank Tiffany White Sage Woman and all her magic and Jimmy Mack Healing for my sponsor. And if anybody needs to contact me, you can call me at 727-433-3896 or on Facebook, Wings of Grace Spiritual Center Church or spiritualdeb at gmail.com. And make sure wherever you go, you take your angels with you and just have a very blessed week. Until we meet again, God bless all of you and thank you for joining us today. God bless you. Become a Goldilocks Productions VIP patron. Receive exclusive access to live stream special and other epic perks. Join the Goldilocks Productions VIP community today.